But I want to open a lot of people's eyes that, you know what, this application was not designed for us to only do Lugam. We can be able to earn real money. Number four, do you want to make money faster and easier? Do you have some capital, 500, 700, 1 million Ukara shillings? Are you willing to learn? Are you willing to grow? Are you willing to evolve? Do you know that people are making over 700,000 Uganda shillings only doing that and only on weekends? My girl, my boy, please come on the table right now. Either way, both of us win. I have actually done some good research. This is going to be part two of the top side hustles youth can do here in Uganda in a, and a lot of different African countries. And they can also be able to retain their jobs. That is to say if they already have jobs, nine to five jobs, or if when they are in universities or when they're in secondary schools or when they are in institutions. If that sounds amazing to you, don't forget to subscribe, to like, to comment and to share out with friends and family i always and always recommend like the video please like the video liking the video it's going to push it a little bit further to cross borders to help out another youth such as you and such as any other person who is going to find this video useful number one this is touching up as stationary or book business so this is also one type of business or kind of business i've actually recommended to a lot of my girlfriends and boyfriends and friends generally here in makerere at wandegea and they are actually earning from this business even more than six figures i'm telling you the truth so this needs you to have a little bit of capital. I'm talking about 1 million, 1.5, even 2 million Ugandan shillings. And the second thing to get a good location, the preferable place would have been near a school, near an institution, a formal area where people are always using books and are always in need of photocopying and printing services. Then the only thing that might be a little bit expensive, this is going to be the printing machine and also the computer computer or laptop in case you don't have but the rest of the things are going to just be as easy as it can easier be said you know you are going to be able to get someone to stay in the business the good thing for this particular business in particular it is that tovunza things are not going to rotten yeah the british english things are not going to rotten even though you are not around you can literally get someone to stand in for you for example they are going to be working from monday to friday their main role is going to be to print, to photocopy, to type things for students and other people who are interested in such services. And, you know, one of these days, these services have also increased in, you know, in uh, the amount that we are consuming them at. For example, printing, it's at 1,000, uh, you know, 500, 2,000. Photocopy, it's at 300, 500. So you have to also think about this critically. If you want to make money and you have already capital, the other good thing even though the business fails you're not going to lose anything you can be able to sell the computer you can be able to sell the printing machine to someone else so that they can also be able to use the same services they can also be able to generate income from the same services so let me know in the comment section below if you had yoka 2m 3m can you start this business the other thing i've forgotten you can also be able to accessorize the business how? Bringing in books, bringing in pens, bringing in stationery and other things in that particular category. Number two is also one of my absolute best ones. That is bakery. You know, I've talked about bakery, but not on a very, you know, high pitched service uh, note. But if you are interested in baking, daddies, cookies, those different small chops that people can easily consume on the go, my girl, my boy, this is a very viable business. You can even make up to 100,000 Uganda shillings in only a week. You know, remember that these things are very small and you can easily even move with them to school, to work, and you can be able even to start from your circle, people around you. If it's daddies, you can easily make them at home, sell them at 500, 1,000 to your friends. And uh, when it comes, when it moves from, from your friends, their friends also buy, friends of their friends also buy. You see how the business is moving. And also eventually you can even make far good, good things in good, good quantities that you can start uh, supplying 
them to different retail shops if it's ground nuts if it's daddies if it's cookies if if they are cakes you know i know of a good friend of mine shifra uh shifra actually went back got somewhere to study from she learned how to bake cakes she's now making and baking cakes and friends her own friends are the ones that actually are the immediate market this brings me to the third side hustle business for my youth this is fashion designing and selling fashionable pieces i know that a lot of us especially youth love to wear to look good to feel good especially through fashion those are clothing different pieces why don't you actually also look into this particular direction my dear you can be able to make over 200 300000 ugandan shillings in only a month in only selling and fashion designing different clothing if you cannot actually you know jump onto the hook of uh you know designing different clothing you can be able to sell these different clothing you know it, it, it is two way actually when it comes to selling these different pieces you can initially opt to go for a uh, chipia here in uganda what we have what you call a chipia you sell clothing which are brand new from china from italy you can also you know sell the older clothing from a winner either way both of us win which they get either with both of us win are you selling the old clothing or the new clothing you can be able to get a good location where you can go in a winner here buy in bulk tops you know sweat pants jumpers t-shirts and all that at a very very minimum price and you take them to your location and sell them you can literally get a person to come in to stand in for you when you are attending school or standing in for you when you are attending to your job or stand in for you when you are having anything else you are doing and she can be able or he can be able to record all what he or she has sold and the good thing with also that particular direction is that you can easily diversify with old clothing you can bring in almost anything duvets bed covers bed sheets anything you can think of you can literally bring them and people can buy them number 4 do you want to make money faster and easier do you have some capital 500 700 1 million ugandan shillings so if you have that capital get it out are you willing to learn how to decorate parties weddings uh huh have you ever thought of that you know kuchala kwanjula these different different ceremonies do you know that people are making over 700000 ugandan shillings only doing that and only on weekends Have you ever thought about that? Are you willing to, you know, get out YouTube and learn how to design, how to, you know, put together different colors, how to put together different flowers? Are you willing to put out yourself out there on social media in your circles of friends and tell them, you know what, if next time you have a birthday party, I can be able to design and decorate for you that particular party and you can be able to give me this particular amount of money. Have you ever thought about that? My girl, my boy, please come on the table right now. Come on the table. One million Ugandan shillings is enough for you to start up with the basic equipment you can use to decorate birthday parties. I'm talking about this long band, you know, nylon and silk on pieces of clothing. I'm talking about flowers. Artificial flowers here in Chikubo they are 3500 only a piece. Now in 100,000 you get shillings. How many flowers can you get from, you know, that particular amount of money? Do you see those flowers in my background? Those ones, they were only I believe 10,000 you get shillings and it's a banquet of it. Now just imagine if you have those like 10 of them. How don't you tell me that you are not going to be able to make money and you are not going to ask a person that each of that banquet you are actually ready think it for 10,000 you cannot shillings do you see how our brains fail us so you have to also look in, into that very very critically this definitely brings me to the last bit the last side hustle this is not for the light hearted this is for my girls and boys out there who want to build a generational business you know have you been seeing on social media how candles and candle making and scents have been actually going viral mhm I got you this time around. Do you know that you can literally start this business of selling candles and scented sticks and frollo anything and you can be able to generate real income as a side hustle. You are literally attending school but you can or you are also selling candles. This business the good thing with it is that with time you also learn how to make candles. You go back, you know, you get a person who knows how to literally make candles, how to mix all these different scents and they can literally give you a skill and you start making them 
them yourself. I know that a lot of us don't have that money to start immediately into making candles. You can start, you know, buying in bulk. You buy something like candles for 200,000 Uga shillings. Those I believe around 10 or 15 of them, based on where you have, you know, bought them from. Then start from this, your circle. Let us utilize these people around us, yeah? Because someone to another way to that they have money and they can be able to help us when we are starting. We have to get out of that negativityism of thinking that every person doesn't wish us well. Actually, some people around us, they wish us well than what we think. So you have to advertise to them. You tell them I have these candles. You take good, amazing pictures. Thank you very much, guys, for watching today's vlog. I appreciate you from the bottom of my heart. Let me know what you thought of it in the comment section below. Let me know also in the comment section below which one would you start up if you were to start up today, right now in this moment. Let me meet you in my next one. Tanya Shylock switching out. Bye for now.